and welcome to Tips and Tutorials Tuesdays with Corey, the art archaeologist. So I just wanted to show you these really cute little paper clip embellishments for your junk journals today. And just go through real quick on how to make them. They're super easy and really cute. Let's say this is a junk journal page. You can just clip it right to the page just like that and then you can tack stuff under it whatever you want to do with these so these little images here let me pull you in for a sec these are from this calendar and it's called Field Guide 2019 calendar and the artist is Susan wing it. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But she does some really amazing watercolor art. And I will show you that full picture after I show you these little beauties. And I wanted to do just a little stamp style uh, embellishments. And I, I really liked how the black border came out on these. I think that came out really fun and neat. So there's those and I cut these off the back of the package. This calendar was kind of interesting because I got the calendar and it came in this package which normally you know you don't get a big package with it. So here's the front cover. Isn't that beautiful? I really love her work. And then here's the back. I just cut all the little um, every month. Those were the little tabs for every month. So that's how I got a hold of that. And then I don't know if Joann's is going to carry those every year or what they're going to do. And then I am using my just my zigzag scissors. And I'm just taking them and cutting along the edges, whatever size you want to make. Just a fun, quick little way to get some nice embellishments. And I've been making a bunch of these, so I just grabbed a bowl for all my scraps. That way I can easily recycle them. And then I take this piece and I put it on top of the black paper. You want to cut a big enough piece of your backing paper to have a nice border. And then I, what I did was I just lined up the scissor teeth to the cuts that were already on the, um, the image piece itself. And you don't have to. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have it match up. I thought it would be kind of nice like that. Okay, that easy and that simple. And then I've got my little Mod Podge Matte glue bottle. And all I want to do is just I'm not going to make sure I get the edges or get real wild about it because I want to make these fast. So I'm just putting it on there and then setting it in place to hold it secure. Just like so. And you may have a little leakage like down here I've got a little but it's uh, clear and matte. So when it dries, at least it won't dry with the sheen. But I do go ahead and just take a paper towel, kind of wipe off that excess glue. And I do like to hold these just for a second so that when I do go to set it down, I know that it's secure enough that it's going to hold its position. Okay, so there's that. And we'll come back to that one in a minute. I wanted to show you these other ones too. Now I got this paper pack. So I cut up these little botanicals. Let me bring you in. 
the same way real easy peasy and then some of the borders I left completely um, cream colored without any ink and then I did ink the botanical itself just on the edges and then I did some other borders where I inked the border and then I made one here where I didn't have a border at all I just let the botanical be a little kind of a stamp I've got a couple of those make it look like a little stamp really fun so I've got one of these and I'll just show you real quick very easy little project so now on these they come in about this size you can kind of relate to the palm of my hand and then they have um, the name of the botanical on the bottom but a lot of them are spread really far apart so if you want to make these bigger you certainly can do that but I wanted mine smaller I just want mine a little bit more petite so I cut this first just like before you could also do it with just a straight border too if you wanted to you know of course a little smaller and that would look really sharp and beautiful or if you wanted to do a torn edge paper underneath that would look really sharp the reason I didn't do any of that was because I just was kind of going for a little stamp style look so I went ahead and did them this way and I forgot my little bowl I do cut right over my bowl just because it's easier and we'll ink this one what I've been doing with these because I don't want a ton of ink on the cream I want I'll show you what I mean in a sec so just do all your edges and then what I've been doing is putting that back on like that sometimes you'll get these really sharp little edges from cutting and I whack those off just because they're gonna get caught on stuff and you don't want it to tear your pretty little work of art now I've got these together and lined up and all I want to do is just go straight up and down I don't want to do an angle and swipe away I want to go straight up and down because I just want to darken the edge of that cream colored paper underneath and then have that cream be in between the botanical paper and uh, the outer edge just so it'll give it a little bit more contrast and really make it pop out so now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them together just like I did the others these little bottles are great I got this I need to clean the end of it I got this little bottle at um, Hobby Lobby in the tie-dye section they sell little empties they're in a few different spots in the store but that's where I got mine my dogs barking and making a ruckus <laughs> now that the weather's getting nice outside they just want to be out barking at everyone and everything and then I just want to gently place that make sure it holds its position isn't that pretty it's just like a little stamp style I know these scissors are not a stamp because it's more of a half circle but I still think you get that look pretty close to that look a real pretty little embellishment so let's go back to this one now and I cut a little square and I'm just using cardstock paper today I'm using this black cardstock for these black ones and I'm using this bigger pack of the cream cardstock on the bigger ones so you want to make sure this little piece is smaller than your piece of art and then what I do is just put the paper clip just like so with the little side on the glue I'm gonna glue the little side in and leave the big side out so that it'll have a little bit more strength to hold things if you want to pin cute little tags or 
some kind of decorative little whatever you want in your thing. Okay, I got way too much glue going on there. And I didn't clean my lid, darn it. So I got that schmoosh. Get rid of that. I really don't have any issues until I start filming. <laughs> Go figure. That's how it works. Okay, now that I've got glue everywhere. And then you just simply want to take it. Now, you want to really focus on having this metal part pretty close to the top, but at the same time I like to have it hidden. And that is really right on the money with this one. And I hold this just for a few seconds as well. And then I just lay it down and let it dry upside down. And same with this little piece too. Just sandwich those together. One evening while you're watching TV, you can turn out a whole bunch of these for your journals, for your planners, whatever you want. Your kid's notebook. Oh my gosh, they would love to find a secret beautiful little embellishments or really cool ones for little boys for your kids. Sneak them into their little notebook. Um, and then when they get to school, they've got a the coolest gift from mama or papa. All right, and then I just let them dry upside down for, I don't know, 20 minutes or whatever. It doesn't take long at all, and then they're all done. I did see a gal on here that was making her little embellishments. I don't think, I can't remember what style she was doing. But when she was done, she just clipped them all to, um, I think, a little index card. I can't remember. But she clipped them all to keep them organized like so. I don't know that I'll do that. I, I store things in little Tupperwares, so I'll probably just toss mine in there. But... Um, I'm sure glad you joined me today and these are so fun and so easy to make and if you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and come on back for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.